Good morning. Hey, what makes you happy? I mean, really? You see, this is a serious question, maybe one of the most important questions of your life. But did you know that most people can't even answer it correctly? Harvard professor Dan Gilbert says, most of us think we know what makes us happy, but typically we are wrong. I have found that there are three mistakes that we make in pursuing happiness that can actually make us unhappy. So the first unhappiness trap is putting happiness on layaway for some future date. The when I fill in the blank, I will be happy syndrome. The reality is happiness isn't something to be acquired in the future. You are either happy now or not. Then never arrives. Living and striving for it then results in a constant state of unhappiness. I hope you see the irony in that. Now is the only time you have to be happy. If you can't be happy now, you most certainly will not be happy later. The second unhappiness trap is this. We spend our lives trying to live up to someone else's idea of happiness, which can make us very, very unhappy. Many times we are living a life we didn't even choose ourselves. We might have simply and unconsciously started pursuing the idea of happiness programmed by our parents, by our peers, by society or culture, or even the examples given to us by Hollywood or, or commercialism. Whose idea of success are you living out? Are you sure? I mean, look at your goals. Whose are they, really? Why those goals? Look at how you spend your time and how you spend your money. Why are you spending your time and money on those things? Who are you trying to live up to? Who are you trying to impress? Or who are you trying to be for somebody else? The third unhappiness trap is contrast. For the most part, happiness is really an illusion. In other words, you make up the idea of whether you're happy or not, and you really only know how to judge something by comparing it to something else. Typically, this means comparing yourself to other people. This is a dangerous business because there will always be a reference point that will cause you to be unhappy. The bottom line is this, happiness is not derived from the outside. It is only derived from within. Happiness is a state of mind and you can continually choose to be happy. Here's the best way I know to live in happiness. Live in gratitude. Count your blessings or just take a look around you. Hey, look, if you have assets totaling more than $2,200, you are better off than half the people on the planet. If you earn more than $68,000 or more a year, you're in the coveted 1%, the one that everybody's angry about, right? That makes you better off than 99% of the people on the planet living today. When you focus on all that you have and all that you are right now, that is where happiness is born. And once it's born, now you can nurture it further by discovering those other experiences that bring you increased joy, increased happiness, and increased exhilaration. So, for crying out loud, man, get happy. Today, appreciate what you have and choose to be happy all day long.